Hey everybody, Anthony here, and we're shooting this video in the car because it's about three degrees out. <laughs> um, up here in Grafton Notch at Old Spec, uh, I was going back and forth whether I was going to do Sandwich Dome today in New Hampshire, Old Spec, and Old Spec 1. I'm looking, it looks like somebody might have been out there, like maybe a single person. I see like snowshoe tracks above the, over the bank and, um, so we might be breaking all day today, I and mean, I'm I'm solo, so it'll be by myself breaking trail. Anyways, um, it's just a pretty short hike. I think it's all together, maybe eight and a half miles. You know I me, mean? I never know what what I'm hike, uh, how long a hike is, but it is going to be a cold one. It's windy, um, old spec. Probably won't go up in the fire tower. Um, it's kind of sketchy in the summertime. In the wintertime, probably uh, it is pretty bad. So it probably won't go up there. So it really won't be above tree line because uh, when you're at the summit, you're not totally above tree line. So anyways, I'm going to get my boots on and head out. And uh, if I have the energy, probably do the eyebrow tra trail. Not 100% sure on that yet. Um, it's steep, but it's not overly bad and if I'm breaking trail I I wouldn't come back down it so I'd be breaking trail up it and then breaking trail back down the Appalachian Trail so I might just skip that um, who knows see how things are going a little late start than usual it's about 8 30 which is pretty late for me getting started so anyways like I said I'm gonna get my boots on and get out there So, I guess I lied. I said it was three degrees. My temperature thing's rated a degree, so it's so down to one. It is cold out there. And, of course, there's where we're heading. See, lonely tracks. Might have blown in. I don't know how much snow they got up here. I don't think they get much snow because it doesn't look like this parking lot got plowed. So, I'm... Um, if this was broken after the last last storm, second to last storm, might be good. So, let's go find out. Got my snowshoes out there all ready to get on. My pack's behind, Nova behind it. I'm dreading getting out here. Hiking solo in the cold, you lose all ambition. So, anyways, let's get this done. So here we have the kiosk. Look at this map. So, here's my pointer here. Oops. We are, where are we? We are here. Elevation 1500 feet. You see the eyebrow trail, trail is this orange one that goes out and around. He like said if it's broken, or it looks like it has been broken, I'll probably go up it. I think it's longer. I'm not really sure, there's no mileage on this. And then the this is the AT. So we, if we were going up the eyebrow, we'd go up it, go around. Old specs out way down here at 4180, and then we'd come back and go down the AT and back to where we are. So it splits off pretty quickly. So hike safe. So eyebrow trail, yeah, eyebrow eyebrow trail is 0.1 from here. So old spec is 3.8. So let's go get it done. So here we are, decided to go with the eyebrow trail. It's kind of broken. Um, somebody was through before this last storm and uh, the last storm was probably only about two inches of powder. It's not bad. Um, I found a rock to hide behind because the winds are coming up this way. These hardwoods are not stopping the wind today. I don't even know if you can hear this. So anyways, I am going to head, keep heading up eyebrow. It starts off steep and, and the intersection like 
as soon as you start hiking, it says point one, but it comes right up on you quick. I didn't, I didn't even stop to film it. I just kind of like started out of the corner of my eyes, kept going, and then thought about it after. So, anyways, up, 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 and uh, there's a couple exciting spots on this trail in the summer. I don't know what they're gonna look like this winter, so I'll stop for pictures and videos there, and uh, then continue up to the outlook, which I can't remember if it's on the eyebrow or on the Appalachian Trail. It looks over the parking lot. So, anyways, here we go. So here we have the legendary rungs, or whatever they call these things. They actually kill your hand if you use them to pull yourself up in the summer. Um, we just went up without it. It's all roots, so you can kind of dig your feet in. So they think it's steep enough to justify poles and cable. I don't see it, but it, this is Maine and not the whites, so I guess they do things different here. But yeah, it kills your hand. So anyways, further on we go. So here we are at the top of the the rungs or cable or whatever and it goes into where the ladder would be over there. This is like a, it looks like a river bed you go through but I, I last time I was up here I didn't see any water. There is quite a bit of ice coming off the top though so anyways I get some views and uh, keep going. Oh by the way ever since uh, I kind of got up into the, the softwoods the wind is probably quarter of what it was down in the hardwood so it's all, actually the wind's tolerable up here so anyways let's get moving still not warm let's get the top of the rungs cables whatever we're calling them and then look at the icicles there and then you can see the ladder kind of over there and then, ooh, we're getting into some views. The ladder is quite buried today, but I'm sure it's usually buried more in other years. Not a lot of snowfall this year. We continue up. Going orange blazes. And you ask why orange blazes? Because this connects to the AT? Because we are in a state park. And Maine State Park system, I guess, doesn't follow the guidelines of the AMC, which is fine by me, but might confuse a through hiker. Um, it looks like they used to be yellow blazers, and then they painted them orange. So, I guess the yellow would probably confuse through hikers even more. If they'd think, if they saw yellow blazers off the AT, they'd think that they were not on the AT, maybe. So, anyways. We're heading up there. I think that might be old spec. I'm not even sure. I can't see the fire tower on any of these peaks, but that is definitely the tallest one around. And old spec's the only 4,000 footer in this area, so. So here we are at the intersection. Back on the AT eyebrow trail. <coughs> excuse me. Eyebrow trail turn. It'll be 1.1 miles to this point from the trailhead to my car to here. Um, and actually, after the um, viewpoint that I just recorded, the high prow trail drops like a rock. You just go down, 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 down. I was wondering how you got to a viewpoint and didn't see the AT from it. And the reason is because the AT is way below it. So if you just want a quick up and back, I don't recommend the, uh, the eyebrow trail because you're doing a lot of extra elevation on that one. So we're on the AT and if I remember correctly, it's pretty steady now. And uh, on the way back, it looks like we're gonna get a viewpoint right down there. So at least a view of the mountain. So anyways, absolutely no information on the sign. Eyebrow trail, trail that way, AT. Old spec trail, this is what they call the, this part of the AT, um, the old spec trail. They do put the AT part on it, so the AT, th the through hikers don't scribble out the old spec trail. Um, 
Maine's got the shit together on that one at least. Anyways, let's get going. The wind's picking up again, so it's making videos hard because I gotta kinda yell and get out of the wind and it gets my hands really cold. So anyways, let's go. So here we go, up at the viewpoint, um, I'm about point two from the intersection to go up to Old Spec and uh, where it, I think it turns in, I think it's the AT turns off before Old Spec. I always thought it went over it, but by looking at the map, it looks like it turns off right before the, the peak. So, and I'm not sure what that, I didn't look what the distance was for that little spur trail. That, well, it's actually not a spur trail because it, it continues as another trail down the other side, but I didn't look to see how far that was, but we're at a viewpoint and we can see old spec and it looks like it's still far away, but it's really not. So here we check it out. It's not, not the greatest viewpoint, but it's cool. Whoa, and I'm sinking. I think those are the bald pate, pates? Pates, ball pates over there because that bald one right there is the one that's on the hundred highest, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but they, they seem to be the tallest around, so it's got got to be them because you go up over the first one and then you go down in between up to the second one, and the first one's not on the hundred highest. I can't remember. I think they're like east and west or something. And then a tree in our way, and we I can't see. Old spec right there. I believe that's it. A lot of a lot of beliefs in uh, suspecting here because this isn't my typical area. But it is fun to come up to Maine, considering I live in Maine and my battery is at one bar. So I got to put this away and go limited the rest of the trip or warm it up or something. I do have a battery charger, but I can pull it out. Anyways, here we go. Intersection, woohoo! <sighs> old Spec campsite, Old Spec Mountain, point three up to Old Spec from here. So the AT would continue that way, and but we're gonna head up Old Spec, obviously, since that's what we're here for. So, anyways, we we got above the tree line right over there, pretty cool, but it was cold. And look, blue blazes on this one. We're blue blazing. So anyways, let's get up there, point three. Came around the corner and boom, there it is. Yeah, there's no way I'm going up in that sucker. It's all rime ice and that ladder looks so slippery. I'll have some views without it anyways. So here we are at the summit of Old Spec, and it is some cold up here. I'm going to change my clothes and I'm going to head down. I am on minimal battery power. This cold is killing all my electronics. My uh, inReach for the first time this winter just gave me a, a low temperature warning. I, that's the first time that big one's been done. Whoa! Here goes the wind. So, anyways, my hands are going back on the gloves for a second. I'm changing my clothes and I am running down. It is some cold. So here we are down below, um, past the eyebrow trout, and here we are 
past the eyebrow trail on the AT. I'm up at the eyebrow trail actually. So check this out, my battery is on red. So you start and you go up over on that edge. You go all the way up there. And then of course when you get to the end of it, you drop back down. <laughs> So it's a lot of wasted elevation, but it's a cool trail because somewhere along right up there, I think it's right there actually, you look over the whole valley and the parking lot and stuff. So, pretty cool. It's cool to see it from this end too. <laughs>